assalamu alaikum welcome to the channel of medicine by chips today our topic of discussion is examination of the hematocrit value first of all all you guys should know about what is a hematocrit hematocrit is basically the packing of the red blood cells which settle down during the process of centrifugation so it is basically the red blood cell which settle down during the process of centrifugation this is known as the hematocrit now if you talk about the experiment first of all we should know about what is the principle of this procedure and the principle is divided into two parts first is centrifugation and the separation of the layers if we talk about the centrifugation a sample of the blood is taken in the tube and then the tube is placed in a centrifuge machine and the centrifugal forces separate the layers of the plasma into two parts that is layer separation the layer that settled down at the bottom of the tube it is known as the red blood cell packing and that volume is known as the hematocrit and the upper buffy coat it is known as the layer of the leukocytes and platelets and this is the main principle of this experiment and in the males hematocrit value is 40 to 45 percent while in the females it is 30 to 40 percent because of the low volume of the red blood cells now we talk about apparatus of this experiment the apparatus used in this experiment is a micro hematocrit centrifuge machine which is used for the centrifugation we have a reader we have a sterilized lancet which is used to prick the finger we have alcohol swab for <coughs> cleaning the uh, surface area of the finger and then we have the heparinized capillary tubes which are used in this procedure now i will explain the procedure of the examination of hematocrit first of all we will need a sterilized lancet which is used to prick your finger and the blood will come out first of all we will discard the first blood and then we take a heparinized capillary tube if we notice that there is one end of the capillary tube which is marked it is known as the red band end and you pick uh, you place your finger on the opposite side of the red band so that the pressure is measured and the blood will flow into the capillary tube then you will place the capillary tube on the blood and the blood will move into the capillary tube through the capillary action then you will seal the end of the capillary tube so that the blood will not come out and we place it into the centrifuge machine and we centrifuge it for 3 to 4 minutes there is a micro hematocrit reader which read it, which reads the uh, uh, readings of the experiment and you will that then note down in your notebook this is all about the examination of the hematocrit value now we will perform the experiment of the determination of hematocrit this is known as the sterilized lancet which is used to prick the finger and this is known as the capillary tube you can see that there is a mark and that we put on the blood so that the blood will come into the capillary tube due to the capillary action this is the micro hematocrit centrifuge machine in which we put this capillary tube and we will discuss the examination of the hematocrit now first of all we will use a lancet to prick your finger we you first of all we will use a swab so that there is not an infection or any other chances then we will prick the finger just like this the blood will come out then we put capillary tube on this and it will blood will automatically move into the capillary tube just like this now you can see that the blood has risen up to half of the capillary tube now we will seal it with the help of the clay this like this now the capillary tube has been sealed and now we will put it into the centrifuge machine this is the centrifuge machine and now we will centrifuge the capillary tube so that we can examine the hematocrit of the blood first of all we will open it like this it will open this is known as the plate or micro hematocrit reader you can see these are the uh, these are the notings so that we can note the hematocrit value of the blood and we will open it and this is the machine in this we will place this capillary tube so that the the end that is filled with the blood it covers the end of the hematocrit value and the blank end we will face the center of it so that we can place it like this this is and now we will cover the plate 
you will cover the plates so that this reading comes on the top of the capillary tube so that you can easily count the readings so this is the place now we will start centrifugation the this is known as the rotation per minute so we will fix it on 10000 it is known it is given as multiplied by 100 so we will place it as the 100 and the minutes required as 4 to 5 minutes so we will fix it as the 4 minutes this is the start button if we push this button it will start centrifugation and then after 4 minutes we will stop this so start now 4 minutes have completed so we will stop the centrifugation as we know that it is rotating at 100 so we will wait for some time so that the machine can stop you cannot simply stop and unplug the machine so we have to wait now it has stopped now we will open it you can see that the blood volume has come up to the 50 percent so the hematocrit value will be in between the 45 to 50 percent as it is blood of the male so it is correct value now we will discuss the buffy coat so as you can see there is a small layer a yellow type layer a white cloudish layer it is known as the buffy coat it contains leukocytes and the platelets so that was the experiment if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments and please share subscribe and comment also on this channel thank you so much